All right, so this is video three of Lower Hill uh, 20K put on by the PA Fun Runners. I'm nine miles in, I got 1562 feet of gain, 1125 down, got about uh, roughly three and a half to go. Oop. Oh, guess we go down this way. Actually, I think there was an aid station back there for the race.
Looks like we get back on the pump house trail. Oh, which one is it? Looks like we take this one. I guess you could take either Y, but whatever. This is the right way. Alright, there's mile 10, so we got about two and a half to go, again, give or take a tenth or two, and I got 15.62 gain, 14.70 descent. Yeah, we actually go across this bridge.
Orange Trail. So somewhere in this section, not exactly sure, we have to cut down this hill. Um, I actually missed the turn during the race and I, I went out to the finish line and ended up having to run back down. So I'm just cutting down now, not sure where the actual I think it's actually probably more up there, but whatever.
It might have been up by that water tower, but either way, we're just gonna cut down. So this is the only part of the course I'm not 100% on where the turn was down. But we're just gonna bushwhack it down. So either way, somewhere between where those camp sites are and where I turn down, you make a left down the hill. I'm sure there's an easier way, maybe like right there. Oh, maybe that's it. We'll just take this off and then get back down. I wanna see where this takes, see if this is the right way. Yeah, that wasn't right. Whatever.
Ridge Trail. So somewhere in this section, not exactly sure, we have to cut down this hill. Um, I actually missed the turn during the race and I, I went out to the finish line and ended up having to run back down. So I'm just cutting down now, I'm not sure where the actual uh, 
I think it's actually probably more up there. But whatever. Ugh. It might have been up by that water tower, but either way, we're just going to cut down. So this is the only part of the course I'm not 100% on where the turn was down. But we're just going to bushwhack it down. So either way, somewhere between where those camp sites are and where I turn down, you make a left down the hill. I'm sure there's an easier way, maybe like right there. Oh, maybe that's it. And this, I finish off the race because we're like 11 miles in. So it's a loop us right down along the lake. So we finish off with like a mile of this type of trail. You can really make up some ground if you need to or hold somebody off.
See now we got the lake again on your left. So, I mean, you do get to see the, the lake as you finish. Gives a good view. So then we're gonna make the right and head up the way we started. We went down that way to start the race. Again, this gate and that gate ahead will be open for the race.
and then you make this right you'll see the finish line about halfway down this little straight stretch that would be your Laurel Hill uh, 20k course I got about 12 miles so it's not really a 20k per se well it depends on the GPS picks up like today I had this uh, rain above so it's getting all wonky and stuff I have 1722 feet of gain 1698 descent so that's about accurate 1700 feet to 19 again depending on what uh, GPS signal does for you for the day um, it's not my best race course video because of the rain I was slow a little bit uh, try to pay attention to my watch and the turns because it wasn't always giving me the right turns I did miss two turns and I had to go back and then that ending about a mile back when you just had to go down the hill I'm actually missed that during the race so I'm not exactly sure where that was at um, or if he doesn't just change it so we come out the road and then loop down which is probably the smarter move to actually loop down at the end of the campground road and then head down to the road um, make it a little easier to follow I guess um, other than that if you get a chance come out support the race PA fun runners put on a good race I mean it was their first year this year and I think they did a hell of a job um, Laurel Hill is actually a really nice uh, state park it's very clean they take pride in it obviously today you, on this video you saw some trees down you could tell they were fresh so they just didn't get out there or nobody told them about them yet um, but they do a lot of cool things out here like a bluegrass festival they have a 5k um, it's one of those parks that they actually care about and take pride in it so come on support them the PA fun runners just come out and visit as well um, and if you're looking for one of the PA uh, passport stamp books, the actually gift shop actually has them here. Um, so, either way, again, I apologize for the video today that it was a little bit off. It wasn't up to my typical standards. I didn't lose a GoPro battery out there. Um, there's something going on with the fire trucks. I can hear them in the distance. But, uh, Hey, I did my best and I mean again it's a race course preview so there could be some changes but for the most part I would say 98% of it I got correct except for maybe around the Jones Mills Dam uh, that's that dam that everybody takes pictures of up here and wants to see depending on uh, the water level where we cross at for the race for the at least the 20k I'm not sure if the 50k does it because I'm not sure that where the 50k differentiates from uh, the 20k at all but if the water's high, we'll probably end up back down there where I crossed at. But if it's low, I think we're going to go across the breast of the dam. Uh, again, I think that was the idea. So there could be a little tweaks here or there, but I don't know. It gives you a pretty good idea and should make you want to come and do the race. So come on and do it.